welcome to my channel. So I'm Danielle, a makeup artist from Scotland and I'm going to show you how to create this daily makeup look that I would wear to work when I'm in the salon working as a makeup artist. So if you want to learn how to do this day to day quick makeup, it looks glam but it's actually very very easy using just a few eyeshadows and nice full coverage foundation, then keep watching. So I've already prepped my skin using the Ole Hair Nixon Banana Bright Eye Cream and the Rush Brightening Cream Moisturiser. Um, so obviously you need to always prep your skin before makeup, otherwise it's not going to sit nice and it's not going to last. So next I'm going to use primer and I'm using the Too Faced Peachy Primer. So this is matte silicone base and I'm just going to pop this in the centre where I got most oily because I do have quite oily skin. So you just need a little bit of this, it is super silicone as I said. I'm just popping that primer in the centre where I get most oily but if you do have more of a dry skin I would recommend the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So that's like a coconut water based primer so it's better for dry and dehydrated skin. It's going to flood the skin with hydration and make it nice and plump ready for makeup. At the cheeks I'm going to use some of the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. So this is a lot more dewy and it's going to add a nice glow to the edges of the skin. I don't use this on the nose because I'm so oily there I don't need any extra shine at all. So next for foundation I'm going to take the Olivia Hale Buffing Brush and the Elamasa Skin Base. So this is quite a matte foundation, so it's maybe better for those of you with oily skin rather than dry. For dry skin, I always use the Too Faced Born this way. Um, I use that on a lot of my braids and clients too. So I'm just blending that foundation all over the skin. And this is, I would say, more of a medium to full coverage. But you can shade it out with a moisturiser or a dewy primer. And I just like to really work this into the skin a lot. So to make sure this foundation lasts all day and make sure it's blended very, very well, I'm just going to really buff this into the skin. So the more you work the brush into the skin, the less the coverage is going to be, but also the longer it's going to last. So you can really shear this foundation out or build it up. So I'm just doing the same on the other side, so just really working it into the jawline and press for fuller coverage in certain areas where I have more blemishes and scars. And then also, don't forget round the sides of the hairline. So I'm really buffing that into the hairline. If you've got very, very light blonde hair, you can just do this with your finger, like that. It's a bit more careful than using a brush. So I've just applied a little bit more around the nose where I get most red. And I'm going to take a tiny bit under the eyes as well. I also like to apply a little bit extra at the forehead. I do get quite a lot of redness around here as well and blemishes. So again, to get more coverage, I'm just going to pat this on. So for a night out, I would recommend layering up your foundation a few times. So I'm happy with that coverage for every day. So next I'm going to go into correcting and I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Light Peach Corrector. I also like the MAC Bright Forecast Corrector for under the eyes. Again, that's a nice peachy tone that's going to help to colour correct. So you can see that really helps to take away any purple tones under the eyes. Next I'm going to move on to concealer. So you want to choose something that's just your normal skin tone after you've corrected under your eyes. You don't want to leave that peachy cast under there. So for this, I'm taking the Too Faced Sculpting Concealer in Porcelain and just popping it under the eyes just a little bit. And then wherever you need more coverage, again, usually around the nose, around the forehead, definitely here, and then the centre to brighten a little bit. So to blend that in, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. So this is nice and small for under the eyes. And you just want to make sure you don't get any on the eyelashes and just start to blend it down. So just take that concealer right under the brow. You don't want to get any on the eyebrows because we're going to do them later. But same on the other side, I'm just popping what's left on the brush over the eyelid and then blend everywhere else. So for larger areas, you can just use your foundation brush, but for smaller areas, use a smaller brush like this. This is still like a buffing brush, but just a mini version. So I'm going to swap back to my foundation brush and just pat this in. Just on the larger areas, make sure you get right under the nose. And this is just going to take away any remaining redness. And then I'm going to pop some on any blemishes or scars that I have. Then just pat them in as well. So again, remember this pattern motion is going to create the maximum coverage you need. This is definitely one of my favourite concealers because it is such high coverage, but it doesn't look cakey on the face. You can really build it up and it just doesn't look heavy ever. So next I'm going to do some cream contour, so this is a Revolution Foundation Stick in F12 and I'm just going to take this along my cheekbones, just here, not too much, and round the sides of the forehead, 
So in terms of contour, this is quite a light colour because I don't like anything too harsh for every day. Just something nice and soft. And then I'm just using the same Olivia Hale foundation brush and again just patting that in. So you don't want to bring this any lower than the cheekbone, so don't apply anything under here because having it above the cheekbone nice and high is what's going to give you that maximum definition. The aim here is to create a nice shadow where the natural cheekbone is but just enhance it and it also gives you a little bronze look as well. And then the same at the forehead, just press it in. Just hold your hair back to make sure you can get right into the hairline. And once it's mainly blended, just push the excess back into the hair again. And like I said, if you have blonde hair, very light hair, just work it in with your finger. So do a nice darker shade of this as well, F13, which is good for nights out because it's a bit darker. And same this side. Next, I'm just going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Pink Gasm. I love this product, it's my absolute favourite thing at the moment and has been for months. So I'm just putting a little bit of that in the cheeks. So you can really apply quite a lot of this and it blends like a dream. So same foundation brush again, nice and simple. So I'm in love with the glow these give. These liquid and cream blushes are just going to be a lot more natural on the skin. But if you do have super oily skin or you don't like this glow, just substitute these for powder, bronzer and blusher. Next, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight and just put that above where I put the liquid blush. And you guessed it, same brush. Every day you don't want to be using lots of different brushes. You should try and find a routine that's super quick and easy for you to use with minimal products. So again, that just really amps up the glow. So we're looking super dewy now, so I think it's time to powder. So I'm taking some just around the forehead as well. Just making sure you really blend that in, you don't want any harsh lines anywhere, especially not for everyday or work makeup. So I'm just going to add a little bit more definition and help to set those cheek products with the NYX Deep Tan Bronzer. So you just want to create contrast on the face, like certain areas should be darker and some should be lighter, just to give the nice 3D sculpted effect. Next it's time to define the eyebrows, so I'm just going to take some of the Glossier Boy Brow in Brown. And when you get this, there's quite a lot of product on the brush, so I just like to take some off so that it doesn't end up all over the skin. So just spend some time really brushing this through the brows to make them nice and thick. If you have thin brows like me, that is. I quite like a nice fluffy brow, but it's very hard for me to achieve, obviously, with having such thin brows. So this does make a massive difference for me, along with the brow lamination. So really work this through the brows, especially at the front where you want it to be the fluffiest. Next I'm going to take the Primark Brow Pencil in dark brown and just create little strokes underneath where there's not as many hairs. So my brows are a lot more sparse under here, so you just really need to thicken them up to match the top of the eyebrow. So I'm using a very, very light hand so that it doesn't look too dark or too harsh. And then areas like this that are a little bit more sparse, just draw in a few little fine strokes. Just draw upwards and it also helps create a little bit more of an arch in the brow. So on my eyebrows, because I've over plucked when I was younger, I really need to work on this area under here. It's almost like a hook brow shape I have. So I like to just create almost like a straight line going here and really fill this area in. And then same the other side. So just swap your arm over like this. And just continue to draw those little strokes. And then just give the brows a little comb through just using the brush. So next I'm taking the Be Perfect Cosmetics Makeup with Ja Palette and I'm taking the shade Sandy from the palette so I'm just sweeping that through the crease and blending out as well. I'm just holding the brush further back to really diffuse that product out. So that's how it's looking. So I've just done the same the other side and then I'm taking a smaller brush just to double check those edges are fully blended and nice and soft. Then I'm just applying a little bit more of that same shade just in the crease to make sure I still have the depth there. You want the edges to be blended but there's still to be depth and shade into the crease. Next I'm taking the shade brownie from the palette and just applying that slightly lower than the first colour and then I'm just making sure the edges are blended again and everywhere has the correct depth that I want. So I'm just taking that brownie shade again and just popping that in the crease slightly lower than the first colour then just blending both together. And if you have hooded eyes like me, just tilt your head back slightly, just to make sure that colour is still visible above the crease when the eyes are open. So just make sure you blend the corner as well and you don't have any harsh lines. So the lighting might be a bit different now because I just had to take my mum to work and I've had lunch, got myself a little coffee. So where were we? So this is a lighter sandy shade. So I'm mostly focusing this underneath the first half of the eye. Same on the other side, so just here. 
and then I'm going to pop the brownie shade, so the darker brown, just the corners, and just make sure that meets the top of the eyeshadow and right into the corner, so it should all just merge together. So I'm just going to take the glow up shade, the lightest shimmery colour, and then make up my Ja palette, just on the same brush I used, and just taking off the excess on the tissue. I used this earlier underneath my eyes, so I'm just taking a little bit of that champagne shade and just popping that in the inner corner just to add some light to the eyes. I'm going to actually spray it with some of the setting spray. So this is a NYX matte setting spray and this is just going to help it stick. So just pop that in the inner corner and you can see it adds a lot of light to the eyes. Then from the same palette I'm going to use the Lux shade. So it's a darker champagne. Same brush again. Get some of that colour on the brush and then just spray it again to get it to stick. And I'm just popping this on the eyelid. So I'm just putting this on the first half of the lid. Then I'm taking the matte shade Sandy again and just using that to blend out the shimmer. Then I'm using the shade Brownie again just to darken the crease. Then I'm taking the darkest brown shade too much and applying that as close to the lash line as possible with a small flat edge brush. And this gives a soft eyeliner effect. Then I'm taking the NARS Rue Bonaparte liner and popping that in the waterline to add some brightness. Then I'm applying the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash to the bottom lashes. So for the top lashes I'm just applying some of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So this is just new to me, I'm used to using more bristle brushes for mascaras. But I do like the effect this gives, definitely, it's nice and volumising. I do think mascara is one of the most important things in your makeup. You really need to find one that works for you that really amps up your lashes. So if I was taking this look from day to night, I would definitely use some individual lashes. So these are just some little ones from Primark and it's like three lashes together. It's just much, much quicker for me and personally I don't like big lashes on myself. Because I do have quite small hooded eyes, I prefer these. So I just grab them and pop some on at the end. So for lips, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Gossip Liner. I normally use this or the Pillow Top one. So when I'm applying lip liner, I just close my lips and start in the middle. like that and then I drag it to each end not forgetting the inside then the cupid's bow and finally the edges those liners are super creamy they're amazing then lipstick wise I'm going to use the NYX Stockholm lip cream I find that the peachy pinky tones in this works really nice with brown eyeshadow. Then to finish, I use the Fenty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. This is the brown one of the range and it's my favourite. It's not sticky and it just feels like lip balm on your lips and it smells lovely. So to help your makeup last all day, you need some setting spray. So I'm using the NYX Matte Setting Spray and just hold from arm's length away. That's the finished look. So it's super easy. It's something that works for lots of different occasions, so work, even if you're going out, like I said, you can add some eyelashes or maybe just make it a little bit darker on the eyes. So if you're wearing this look to an event or work or anything, I would definitely recommend taking a powder with you and a little brush, just to blot away any oiliness throughout the day, and then your lip products, um, just to reapply after you're eating and things. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video, so if there's any other looks you want to see, just let me know, comment below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, so it's just Daniel Dixon MUA, I'll pop it on the screen. So I'll put a list of all the products and brushes I use in the description box, along with all my social media. But don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next video. Thank you, bye! When you've had too much coffee. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. No. No. You, no, I don't. Uh, lashes. This needs a sharpen. Uh, liner. I think the. Hmm. So that's a finished look. No. Thanks for watching. No, I don't like that tone. Why is it so hard?